Hello everybody and welcome to Promise Gaming and more Steamed, the series where I go through my Steam library and find the games that I bought but never had a chance to play, and today we're trying out Wizard of Legend. I was actually going to record a uh, first impressions video of it, but uh, I decided that wouldn't do it justice, so I've been playing for a little while, and I must say it is quite fun. The best way I can describe it is kind of like Magicka meets Enter the Gungeon, but uh, without so many annoying combos. You are dungeon crawling in a randomly generated um, a dungeon, and you're gathering up relics and spells and items and other things that will help you progress as you kill a lot of enemies, beat some bosses, and try to get to the very end. There is a story behind all of it. I think it's like the Chaos Trials or something like that. I don't know. But either way. So right now I'm running with a couple of different arcana. Um, namely a special wind spell that gathers people up and then kind of throws them back. Which can be pretty useful for using that to uh, throw them off a cliff or something. And then we have some sort of like burning within spell. Which makes me like right now attack much faster with my basic attack. Which means I can just pummel these enemies out of the way. It's pretty darn good. Kills a lot of really tough enemies in like no time at all. There are lots of, ow, lots of different arcana that you can use. Um, and they all have their different effects. Right now, for example, you can see with that wind spell I just used, we gathered, gathered up everyone around us. That's called a signature attack. If you look at the top left, uh, ow, gosh dang it, these guys are going to get in my way. Kind of get in your face, don't they? Ow, dang it, get out of here! There we go. The little blue bar at the top left is your signature attack. If you can get that thing to full, your special attack does a lot more damage. This is pretty lucky, by the way. Rudra's Pinwheel. Uh, I am using a wind attack, and that's going to increase air damage quite a bit, so that's really nice. Those are relics. You can have like 10 relics at a time or something like that. They cost gold, and of course enemies drop gold, so you want to kill as many things as possible to get the right relic combos, so you can really stack up a pretty good character. Uh, and obviously that means that there is a lot of character variation in between every level. A lot of random uh, generation, which means there's a lot of replayability involved. Uh, and there is, I will say, a little bit of zaniness into this. Uh, I did criticize, I think it was Ziggurat, for not having enough relics and other kind of zany combos that make you a little overpowered and make it really fun. Uh, this game does have some of that. You can change your robes, your arcana, and your relics, and all of those might result in a few changes. There we go. See, I just used that wind spill to just... Oh, Dark Katana. Triple the critical hit chance of all melee with my vampire eyeglasses. That's great. You guys don't know what that means if you've never seen this game before. Vampire Eyeglasses gives me a chance to heal every time I land a critical hit. And now my melee uh, arcana have triple the critical hit chance. Which means I might be able to actually sustain my way through some of this dungeon. That's pretty lucky. Yeah, those are the combos I'm talking about. We can make that even better if I had if I had the uh, Chaos Emeralds necessary. Uh, Chaos Emeralds. Haha, <laughs> that's Sonic. Chaos Gems necessary. Whoa, ouch. Um, to buy some better robes. Robes, I'm wearing a light blue one right now, have different effects as well. Uh, okay, this is getting a little bit dicier than I intended it to be. Hang on a second. Let me get you out of the way. Kill these magi and these little magic missile things will go away. They're not too hard, though. We'll use my signature attack, see? There we go. It gathers everything around you. Pretty nice. Really good signature. I like it. Anyway, yeah, so the different uh, robes have some different perks, and you can spend a lot of your chaos gems to do that. Uh, some of them do give you extra crit chance, so if we had stacked all of that up, I actually would be able to heal a pretty significant margin throughout this dungeon, which saves me a lot of uh, money and also increases the odds that I succeed, which is great. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, you nope, know, nope, we're not fighting in there. That's a terrible idea. We're just going to pop you out here. Okay, follow me. Grab you. Toss you off the cliff. Ha <laughs> ha! That's how you do it. We're not walking into the room full of TNT. That would be suicide. Anyway, if you don't know what Chaos Gems are, well, you can see above my money counter in the bottom screen. Whoa, okay. Uh, then we have some uh, em chaos, little gem symbols. There we go. Yes, I'm trying to talk while playing at the same... It's a little hard to do. Gosh dang it. That is like three times in a row I tried activating my Q, and for some reason it failed. I guess he attacked just in time to stop me. Lightning aspect. Oh. I think I know what this one does. Uh, basically, it will uh, hit enemies close to us with electricity, which means we are now very melee heavy. That's pretty good. Anyway, gem icon, over the money, that thing. Yeah, see, there we go, we're shocking these people. This is amazing. Now, this is a boss. Uh, the bosses are randomly generated. There are just a few templates, like three different kinds of archers, three different kinds of wizards, and so on. Uh, they all kind of give you some different tells. When they have a yellow aura around them, that means that they are immune to any stops. Wow, we beat the crap out of him. That was amazing. That was good. Good combos. Like that. Yeah, the yellow arrow means he, that uh, he's, he's going to attack and he can't be interrupted. But once it's down, if you attack him, you stun him. So really, the best uh, way to play this is to uh, strafe around the boss, dodge his attacks, until you can interrupt him. Now, well, there's one more shot missing. 
There should be uh, three in total. There, You can tell by the number of portals. There's like red, green, and purple. But uh, you know what? Red is usually like a curse or a deal with the devil, which is oftentimes a bit of a high-risk, high-reward play that I don't think is worth it. So I'm okay with skipping it. Now we're going on to level one, too. There are a total of, I think, uh, seven levels in the game. Well, if you don't count... Oh, okay, I take that back. There are more. There are ten levels in total, if you count the bosses and everything else. So, two levels, then a boss, two more levels, then a boss, two levels, a boss, and then the final boss, and if you can beat him, you unlock the mythical Chaos Arcana, which is really powerful. Uh, I have yet to beat the game. I'm not that good at it yet, but I'm trying, dang it. Um, actually, I kind of like the combo of this uh, lightning aspect. Because it means we can do a lot more melee damage just by getting close to these guys. And I was able to use that signature before it expired, so that just pretty much instantly obliterated them. Ah, uh, one of these rooms. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to dodge right back and then push you off. Haha! <laughs> Say goodbye! Oh, no! Okay. I, I kind of even knew that if I jumped right then I was gonna lose it, but I did it anyway. Hey, a chest. That won't be a trap at all, will it? These little black guys here are really... Ah, gosh dang it. Ah, no, I'm burning! Okay, now I'm making stupid plays. This feels bad. I I'm actually making some really stupid plays right now. Hang on, let's get rid of this guy out of here. Gosh, I love that burning inside, or burning within style um, arcana. That's so good. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to back up. Yeah, anyway, uh, what was I saying? Ah, I don't know. Either way, we'll just pull these guys off the cliff. Boom! Hey, thank you for the help. That was good. I like that a lot. Talking while trying to play this game is a little bit tough, and I'm not that good at it yet. So I'm going to make mistakes. I might even die enhancing the... F oh, it's Fueled Berserk. That's what it's called. Heroic Leap could be pretty good. So he does this, and it, like, dashes me forward. But if I grab someone, I do, like, a suplex maneuver. And also, it's a wind attack, which means that it does extra damage because I have that pinwheel relic. So that's pretty good. Yeah, look at, look at, look at, look at this. Look at the Fueled Berserk. We can, just, we can just rip through these guys if we can get them all into one convenient location. We just keep staggering them and just rip them through. It's amazing. I love that ability. I really do. Now, of course, we're doing a melee-style build here, which is a much higher risk. Do I care about any of these relics? Not really. I don't have money anyway. So we'll come back to that a little bit later. So yeah, anyway, time we're doing melee arcana, I think that it's a much higher risk play. Obviously, being able to stick at a range can be pretty nice, especially if you are, um, if you have the good situational awareness to know when to dash and get the heck out of here. I don't always have that skill. I am sometimes quite terrible at knowing when to dash. Oh, gosh. Try to add... Yeah, we got hit anyway. I thought maybe I'd actually successfully dodged all those, but I was wrong. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> I love being able to shred through these losers. This is fantastic. Anyway, yeah, it's it's the only build that I've had a pretty reasonable amount of success with. I have been able to do some range builds in the past, but um, I don't know. I've never really gotten past the second boss. We'll see if we can get past the second boss this time around. Getting to the third boss is really tough. Obviously, every floor, okay, let's see if we can pull these guys back. Nope, we failed. We got shot and interrupted me. Well, that's annoying, but okay. Um, what was I saying? All right, yeah, the floors increase in difficulty rather substantially after every boss, so... Uh, these knights, you're seeing some that are like elemental and stuff. This is a fire floor, for example. So these red guys have special fire abilities. Look at that, heroic strike. That's a cool suplex. I love that. Um, but obviously, as you continue, though, there's more and more of them. Then there's like these special chaos knights, and they do extra damage and special attacks. This is one of those cursed guys, by the way. And he can give you a really powerful item, but it, give, it has a curse that, like, weakens you in some other way. And oftentimes, it really is crippling. Like, really bad. Most of the time, I don't think they're worth it. I hate the spear guys! These guys are really irritating because they have outrageously good range. But we're actually able to shred through this boss right now. 31 hit combo, that's not bad. Look at this! Woohoo! Man, signature attack, you're dead. Say goodbye to the Lancer. Spear guys suck. You will learn to hate them if you play this game. Unfortunately, we're low on health, so I'm gonna. I could afford to buy some health, and I might. Yeah. I, I think that getting health before the boss makes the most sense. None of those relics really did it for me. Um, I, I don't know all the relics, so I might be passing a really good one, but they didn't look that good from memory. All right, here's a fire boss, Flame Empress Zeal. Are you warmed up yet? Because I'm bringing the heat. They are full of puns. All right, the boss fights are actually really fun. So they have the same situation, ah, same situation where they have a yellow aura and you can't do anything to them until it breaks, which it has now, so we can actually start wailing on the boss. So for the first boss, they have like three attacks. There's one, here comes number two, and here comes number three, which means now I know I can attack her. 
By the time I get to the second boss, I'll have four attacks. The third boss will have five attacks. Uh, so there's some predictability in that. So it's really just dodge, 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 attack. Dodge, 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 attack. She's doing her ultimate ability, which is a bunch of meteors. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, we took a little bit of damage there, but it wasn't too bad. Mostly, I think that this is really fun because the uh, the boss battles are quite the spectacle. I mean, look at this. It's so flashy. And they just dodge around all over the place. It's cool. I like I like it. I like the boss battles in this game. I like it better than everything else, believe it or not. Um, and yeah, if you practice enough, even with some pretty terrible arcana, you might be able to beat them. What is this? Rock and roll. I haven't had this before. Summon a pair of rocky buzzsaws. What is the place? What does that do? Woo! Huh. It kind of messes up some of my melee build because it pushes people away, but it could be worth trying. Um, so yeah, I'm going to switch out some of those attacks and stuff and just so I can use different hotkeys, but maybe we want to have a, a, an emergency push away option? I don't know. Now we're going to the ice floor. So we have a lot of ice-themed knights and an ice-themed boss. But of course, these uh, gray chaos knights and stuff. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is bad. Um, suplex. I like that, though. Yeah, the gray chaos knights, like generic ones, are getting more and more powerful as time goes on. I am taking stupid damage now. Let's push them away. The buzz saws do not do nearly as much damage as I think I was hoping for. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can switch them back, though, because I was getting a little confused on my hotkeys. Yeah, whatever. Let's try burning through these guys. Whoop! Okay, dodge. Boom! Okay, the lightning is great because it actually does seem to stun a lot of these melee enemies. Or stagger, I guess. Yeah, that kind of works for me. I don't know. Oh, God, that guy had such incredible range. I'm trying to use my abilities and it's doing nothing again! Keeps happening! I try to use my Q. But they're, like, so fast that they can interrupt me or something. Either that or it's just not very responsive. All I know is I just took a lot of damage because I couldn't use the ability I wanted. Now, a poor craftsman, or in this case, a poor player, blames the tools. But I, I think this is sort of justified. I do like using the buzzsaws down a hallway like that. That's pretty good. Hey, Relic. Mercury's sun sandals. Better uh, movement speed. Hey, cool. That's great. Better dodging. I'm all right with that. Um, ring around the rosy and pull you out of the way. Um, ah, oh, darn it. I was hoping we could reach that archer and interrupt him before he hit me, but that did not happen. All right, so there we go. Did I ever explain my dash ability, by the way? I don't know. I don't think I did. I have the frost version. It's called Frost Faint. And, uh, what it does when it is charged is it leaves behind a clone copy of me, which distracts the enemies and they try to attack it instead of me. Which is good for defense, but on top of that, any enemies that hit it get frozen. So that can be pretty good for control. These guys are annoying because now they're jumping. But look at this. I can gather all of them up and then just pummel through them. It's such a good combo. I like it. Uh, Arcana. Better in Heroic Leap? Sure, we might as well enhance something I plan on keeping. I mean, if they gave me the option to enhance the buzz saws, I would say it's probably not worth the money. I actually kind of think that the lightning aspect might be better. The buzz saws are not doing it for me, but extra melee damage is great, like right now. Look at that. That's amazing. So yeah, um, got to be kind of careful how you use your money here. Now, at the very beginning, you might have noticed that I traded off 20 Chaos Gems uh, to a vendor at, before we started the dungeon, and she gave me 200 gold. That's a pretty nice little um, kind of boost you can get into a floor. It does cost you Chaos Gems, which means you can't buy new Arcana and Relics and stuff like that and unlock new game features. Yeah, but 200 gold going into a dungeon is pretty substantial. That's like an extra Relic or something inside the game. You can give you a lot more flexibility. Money is important. Money is very important. Uh, and there are some relics in the game that give you more money. You know, like the the Glove of Midas or something like that. Everything's very magically themed. Um, I can't find... Okay, we got to get to these pillars here, try to knock these guys out. Oh, okay. Can we knock you out? Yes, we can. Can I knock you down? Yes, I can. Ah, almost got knocked into the uh, spikes down below. Oh, lucky you. Well, I'll just keep hitting you from over here then, since you can't do nothing about it. Didn't mean to throw that guy on to safety. If I can just draw away a couple of them, I'll do that. Oh, okay, good. And just keep ripping through them, and now we can stagger the other two enemies. This is working out pretty well. I mean, I've, I've taken definitely a lot of stupid damage, but not lately. Like, one or two floors, or rooms, have been just destroying me. But we're not, we're not screwing up too bad right now, at least. That's the thing, the game can be pretty unforgiving. Uh, especially on the higher levels. If you make a lot of mistakes, this guy just... Ah! Darn it. 
I don't know how he managed to avoid getting knocked into the spikes, but I was a little annoyed by that. Anyway, yeah, um, that was just dumb. That was just inexcusable. Anyway, all right, that happens sometimes. Um, again, I'm losing track of what I'm saying because I'm trying to concentrate. This guy just obviously jumps around and tries to stomp you. You want to be dodging it. I made some dumb plays there. But yeah, on the higher floors, we need to buy the health, I think. Um, on the higher floors, if you, like, really screw up one room, that can be it. That can be GG. And now uh, the game gets pretty unforgiving. It is very skill-based, I will say. Uh, there's a lot of different combos, yes. There's a lot of different strategies and builds that you can do to try and increase your odds. But ultimately, ultimately, this game is all about the skill. Um, which, oh god, we're trapped in a tiny room. We're trapped in a tiny room with two ice rogues, uh, guys. I don't like this. But, we actually managed to handle that really well. That was awesome. Okay, cool. So yeah, a lot of different combos, but you have to do skill-based stuff, which is great. You, you don't get carried just because you get, like, the optimal combo. It's not like playing, uh, the Binding of Isaac and getting Brimstone. It's like, well, GG, I win. You know? I mean, you can still lose even that. I'm not saying you can't, but you get my point, though. I'm taking a lot of stupid damage right now because this, this rogue guy does not drop his shield until he can attack, which means you have to get kind of close to him. And in the meantime, the archers are really freaking annoying. But when he goes into stealth, if you interrupt him, well, it's easy to break him out. There we go. Boom! Okay, 17 hit combos are fine. We'll do a signature attack. That was a terrible time to do that, though, because he had not dropped his guard, which means I was guaranteed to get hit. Almost dead. We've taken way more damage on this boss than we should have, though. Way too much damage. Usually you get a pretty good amount of um, chaos orbs. Do we want ring of reserves? Let's. I don't know what this does. Adds more uses to all multi-use arcana. We don't have any of that, so that was a complete waste of 157 gold. Feels bad, man. All right, whatever. Anyway, yeah, you usually get a, pre a little bit of health, a lot of gold, and a load of chaos emeralds after every uh, drop from a boss. But sometimes you get an extra arcana or a relic, which can be pretty nice. Actually, very rarely those um, colored enemies, I think, can drop a, a, a relic of some sort as well. We might end up needing that health. And it feels bad to waste a lot of my gold on health, because obviously I'd rather ramp up in uh, strength with uh, relics. This is getting a little dicey. Knock you into the spikes would be good. Boom! Ah, darn it, he hit me anyway. Um, so we'll probably pull you guys, push you into spikes. That worked on one of them. There we go. There we go. All right. Yeah, I like to spend the money on the uh, Arcana or on the uh, Relics and get more powerful. But, at the end of the day, am I willing to sacrifice a bit of that power in order to actually have a chance of winning the run? Yeah, sometimes you just need to get the, uh, whoop, you just need to get the health. It's better than losing. These uh, Golems are pretty cool, you just have to keep dodging around them, don't get hit. Just time the attacks a little bit, easy. Arcana, we could upgrade our Frost Faint, but I don't think it's worth the money. First off, we don't have enough money, but secondly, I'm not sure it's worth it. The Frost Faint already does its job by dropping a clone that the enemies attack. I don't know what it does by upgrading it. I probably could have checked. Well, you can check after... Yeah, you can. we could have checked, but... Um, I don't know. I don't think it's worth the money. Okay, we're backing up from that. Thank you for blowing yourself up on your own TNT. You morons. This combo is just so good when there are spikes. I love being able to just gather up all the enemies like this. Woo! Pew! Drop him into a spike. <laughs> It's so good! It's so good! Alright, well, anyway. Alright, so let's see. 217 health. Not amazing. Um, I'm feeling like my odds of being able to get to the second boss are pretty good. This run is going fairly well, but are we strong enough to get all the way to the end? I'm gonna go with probably not. And mostly that's because I'm taking dumb damage, and I don't have enough really good relics to actually, um... Hey, thank you for the health. Enough good relics to actually be powerful enough to, like, beat the, the game. I, I ran right into those guys. I wanted to get away. I tried to turn away. It wasn't fast enough. Their reflexes were quicker than mine, and I took damage. Okay. I got no good way to activate these, uh, unfortunately, so we're going to have to kind of pull them back. You'd, you'd like to have a really good ranged arcana that you can use to activate those and blow them all up. Okay, that kind of hurt. Mm, but we didn't have that, so I had to take the riskier play. Oh, well. Oh, tiny room with two blue knights. Okay. Okay, I don't like this. They can freeze you. They can do all sorts of nasty things. Suplex! Lightning will perhaps protect me. And we can pummel. That was a bit of a wasted signature, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Now down to 187 health. You are the cursed guy with a couple things I don't think I really care about. So we're just going to go ahead and leave you and head to the boss fight. 
What do we got this time? The Fleet Lancer. We've already seen the Lancer. This guy just likes to jump around a lot instead. At. Okay. Again, with the spears and their range. It's just bullcrap. I don't like it. Stay away from me, please. Uh, I want to kill the adds. Ow! That was the worst time to get committed to a suplex maneuver. Worst possible time. Okay. We are now in a lot of trouble. How am I going to pull this off? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure yet. We might be able to kill the boss before we take any more hits. Now, the good news is, if you're looking, you can see that I'm getting some critical hits and I'm gradually getting some health. Uh, not much, though. Because we don't have a lot of crit chance. There are some, um, I'm going to grab the health here. There are some artifacts that give you a lot of extra crit chance. I don't know what this does. Uh, Fire-based. Kind of late for that one. Oh, well. Um... For example, there's some, like, special uh, vendor who can trade away an Arcana and give you a random, like, medical item that lets you get more health. One of them is, like, a special placebo thing, critical placebo, which makes you think that every time you've attacked, you've gotten a critical hit, even if you don't get the extra damage. That stacks up so well with vampire eyeglasses because you get a, uh, some healing every time you attack because you believe that you had a critical hit, even if you totally didn't. Whoa! Okay, that was unnecessary damage. Missed that attack. Oh, well, we'll try again. That one's hard to dodge. In my defense, those those uh those water beams. I guess I guess it is actually like hydro pump. Wow, we are screwing up royally right now. Ow! Okay, I'm making a lot of really stupid plays. I'm getting greedy and trying to attack, and I'm failing repeatedly. Finally, getting some hits in on the boss. Jeez. Ah. Okay. Oh no! 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 Three health. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Okay, we can get around this, though. That was her ultimate move, by the way. You just gotta run all the way around the room. Can we beat this with no health? One more hit of anything and we're dead. Ah! Okay. I'm, I'm, I gotta try hard right now. Oh, we actually managed to get around that for once. That's pretty rare. Come on. Wailing on the boss. Ah! Okay. Ooh! Okay. Ah! Uh, okay, now's the time to attack. Go, 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 go. Whaler! Get it done! Burner! Burner's so good with a signature attack! It's not enough! Like, any more hits and she's dead. We're both in a weird spot. There's her ulti. Dodge, 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 dodge. Okay, I think we got it. Wow, that was intense. Okay, so I've got 13 health. <laughs> that goes up to 63. What's this? Blazing Lariat. Spin forward while swinging a blazing whip of flames? That sounds kind of cool. What does that look like? Whoa. Me likey. We'll keep. It's a melee ability anyway. Kind of makes sense. Uh, how much you want to bet we die in the first room? Because it basically was 63 health. If I get hit by anything, I think we still die. Um, heck, if we fall into a freaking pit, I think we might die. Let's see. Where's the first enemy? Oh, we're going to die here. No doubt. There's explosives everywhere. And there we go. <laughs> What did I tell you? All right. Well, we managed to get to stage three out of one. We got most of the way through, but it definitely ramps up in difficulty. There's a lot of different Arcana in the game. I have not got very much unlocked. Um, currently, the basic Arcana and movement Arcana are very lacking for me right now. But we have a pretty decent amount of standard Arcana, signature Arcana, and so on. Uh, there's a lot of different combinations, and you have a lot of different play styles that you can experiment with in this game, which is pretty darn fun. We did get 122 Chaos Emeralds, so I can now purchase some... Uh, some extra arcana, but I'd rather actually try going for a new robe. Pace, grit, or shift? What's shift? Is this good? Let's try talking to the ward and find out. Um, so we had health. Evade chance and crit. Oh, that makes sense for my build. Especially if I'm going to keep the uh, vampire eyeglasses. We can also buy earth and Aegis. Aegis? How you say that? I don't know. Also, there's relics you can buy. You can start with one relic every run. Just one. So, we'll buy some to unlock them, but I want to save 20 for my next run. You can see here, if you go to Relics, there's Offensive, Defensive, and Utility. I do not have very much unlocked at all. I've only put a couple of hours into this game. There's my Vampire Eyeglasses. Um, yeah, lots to unlock. Lots to play with. There's a lot of variation there. That may change once you've beaten the game several times and unlock all the Chaos Arcana. They might be so good that that's all you ever use, and because there's no boss variation... That might be just killing your replayability. I have no idea. But either way, that's Wizard of Legend in a nutshell, guys. I think it is a really fun game. Definitely worth trying it out. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.